Hey guys, it's Callus. This is Callus Fight Night. Welcome. Unfortunately, I was not able to catch this live. I knew I wasn't going to be able to. Uh, it was a scheduling conflict with the Pokemon Perfect League auction that I already uploaded the video of. Job and I did that live, but that took two plus hours, two and a half hours or whatever it was. And like I said, unfortunately, it happened at the same time as this. Couldn't do both, so sacrifices had to be made. I am, of course, going to be still narrating Fight Night. I just couldn't do it live. I hope that suffices, and I hope you guys can understand. So, defending champion Watermass on the top against challenger Archie, 99. I've pronounced that incorrectly a couple of times. Sorry about that. I now know that it is pronounced Archie, Archie 99, against Watermass. So here is their game. It is just a best of one, as with all Fight Night games. Uh, and I did already do the drawing off screen, so we're not going to be doing that in this video. Uh, the winner here, I already know who that person is going to be playing against next week. But let's do the game. So, uh, Archie99 is going to lead with Metagross against the lead Moltres for Watermass, which obviously favors Moltres. It's a free Will O Wisp opportunity, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to burn Hariyama on the way in. Might have guts, but otherwise, that's a good turn. It could have rest as well. Rock Slide, which still did 21% to Claydol there, even though it's resisted, so I think it actually does have Guts, and that obviously would have super killed the Moltres with the 4x weakness. Hidden Power, maybe that's HP Bug there. We've got an offensive-oriented Hari with uh, Guts, like I said. It's going to do a crit to Coon on the way in, 42, not bad. And now he's going to cross chop, so he's just showing the whole repertoire of moves here. We've seen Rock Slide, Hidden Power, presumably Bug, and now cross chop, which Moltres takes 41% despite resistance, so definitely Guts here. And here comes Lax, gets hit with a Psychic on the way in, and is going to whiff on counter, unfortunately, from what turns out to be a mixed meta. Most of the time, that would work. It would just be a mash and a counter, but... Water Mass either just by dumb coincidence or maybe he had the heads up awareness to play around that. But either way, he manages to not get donked by the counter there. Earthquake was aimed at meta, hit Celebi instead. Leech Seed, Body Slam respectively. Does get para, but the vast majority of that damage is going to be negated by the Leech Seed. And then there's no Sand in play either. So Celebi is going to be very healthy here. It'll Natural Cure out to meta. And that is a bad self-destruct, in my opinion, for Archie. I think it was very obvious that the Celebi was going to switch there. But, okay, I guess it's a little bit better than I thought. If he specifically thought that the meta was going to be the thing, because he's going to now trade with it with the Magneton. So, like, I guess it's okay. I still don't know if I love it, and certainly this makes it a lot worse. An unknown Dugtrio in the back, previously unrevealed. That's the last poke for Watermess. Flat-out 5-4 advantage now for Watermess, our defending champion. Salamence comes in for the first time. Hidden Power, that is not a Choice Bander, but it is physical, so I guess we're looking at probably a DD Mence. It's going to be enough, nevertheless, to scare off the Coon, and there's a Dug Trio getting sacrificed to Hidden Power here. So the Mence evidently quite a problem now after the Coon got weakened with the critical hit earlier from Hari. Moltres is going to bring in the Hari. That's going to be a bad Will-O-Wisp for Watermass. Maybe he... I mean, obviously he didn't think the Hari was going to switch in, but this is going to allow a free switch in. Claydol. And he goes for the Prediction HP Bug as well. He doesn't go for the Rock Slide, so a good little sequence there for Archie, catching himself right up. It is 4-4, four to four, but man, he just donked that Claydol. Now he switches, thinking there's going to be a boom, and he's correct about that as well. There's no Dugtrio follow-up for Watermess, so I guess it's just going to have to be Moltres, but Archie, with some nice little plays, has got himself in the lead now. 4-3, to three, solid showing. However, he does not seem to have a good Moltres switch in on this team, and he's going to let his meta, despite being relatively healthy at 60%, gonna let him bite the dust here. This might be a relatively quick one. There's some threatening pokes on both sides. This Hariyama certainly, with predictions, can do devastating damage. HP Bug there, had he pulled the trigger, would have killed Celebi, but he instead went Rock Slide, aimed at Moltres. Here's Kuhn trying to sneak in on a switch. Rock Slide missing there. I don't think it would have killed, but nevertheless, that's an unfortunate miss for Archie. Makes up a bit for the crit earlier, so call it even. Now here's Moltres pivoting in. Cross chop, that's got to kill him with the pressure, man. He's only got 8 PP to begin with, and he's done it twice into Moltres, so he's down only 4 cross chops now. 
flamethrower. He doesn't have thick fat because he's got guts, so he's going to die. And down goes the Hari, leaving us now in a 3-2 to two situation in a pretty quick game. We're only 21 turns in. Will-O-Wisp on what I think is a DD Mens, so that's pretty devastating. He was obviously hoping for a miss there. But if it is DD Mens, you definitely should DD there, unless he thought he was faster than Moltres, but... Yeah, that was awkward. I really thought he would have Dragon Dance there. So now, I don't know. It depends on the last poke, I guess, for Archie. But Water Mess seems to have stabilized. Oh, it's actually Coon. That makes it very interesting, especially if... I don't know if I would have shown that if I'm Archie. Especially if it's Combine, Surf, Roar, Rest Coon. I, I think you're supposed to just wait and grind it out to last poke Coon, unless he thinks that he can stall the Celebi out of Leech Seeds, which, I mean, it does only have 16 to begin with. He does have pressure, so it costs 2 PP every time. I mean, it's not miraculous that he does that, but it's a hell of a grind if that's the way we're playing this. And he, he's going to try to calm mind up anyway, despite the fact that he's now been seated. So that's the third calm mind boost. Apparently he's content to take this ride, but does he realistically beat another coon? I mean... I. With the Leech Seed, I, I don't know that he can really beat another Coon. Maybe he could freeze it, depending on the set. We've actually only seen Calm Mind. And there's another Calm Mind. I, I don't know what the game plan is here. Big, big boost advantage for Archie. The faster Coon appears to belong to Water Mess. All right, what do you got, Archie? That's that's maximum Calm Mind boosts. What do you got? Calm Mind again for Water Mass. And he's going to go for rest, so we're playing the attrition war here, apparently. I think the leech seed is going to make this very, very challenging, but he's he's pretty hunkered in. Both of them very boosted at this point, and okay, now I see what's going on. It, it doesn't even have roar. We're looking at a sleep talk coon here. Good old crow coon. There's a surf. And... And, and a whiffed sleep talk finding rest. I, I can't imagine that Archie can ever crack the other coon here. I mean, I, I guess in a PP situation, but man, that leech seed is just doing overtime work here. And he can't switch out either. Archie's backed himself into a corner now because if he switches, he just loses the mens to a surf. Easy peasy, because the other coon is super boosted too. But he also can't phase out the coon because he doesn't have roar, so... Archie has backed himself into a corner. He is pretty resigned to just playing this out exactly as he has. He can't switch. So, I mean, what are you going to do? You just It becomes pretty linear, pun intended, for Archie, where he, can, he just has to serve for sleep talk or rest, respectively, on any given turn. It's pretty much autopilot here. There's not a whole lot of thinking for him to do or plays for him to make. Like I said, he, he can't switch in Salamence at this point, so I don't know what the plan is. I guess, I guess it's a PP stall, but um, the Leech Seed is just keeping the Coon for Water Mass absolutely, utterly, completely safe. For Archie to somehow crack it through the Leech Seed, he would need some ridiculous, like, triple crit in a row kind of sequence and mathematically that just is not going to occur now for those of you who may or may not know about the mechanics i assume most of you do uh when he's finding surf or whatever other move but surf is the big one when he's finding surf in his sleep and he's using it to hit the other coon uh it is not using pp uh it's not counting as pressure rather uh when he's using sleep talk it's not using pp at all so if he has, say, five surfs and he sleep talks and he finds surf, he still has five surfs. So this could be a a lengthy battle here if we're... I mean, I don't even think it's an if. Like I said, I don't think Archie has a choice. So maybe this is going to get grindier than it initially looked like it would be. This is a pretty fast battle. We had most of both teams dead by turn 21. Uh, there's a crit. That might speed things up. And the calm mind. Alrighty, that... Uh, that's going to speed things up dramatically. That's just going to effectively end the battle. The Salamence here, if it weren't burned, could theoretically, you know, rock slide BS its way out. But uh, with the burn, this is unwinnable for Archie. 
just going through the motions here, but water mass is going to sooner or later. We got a flinch. There we go. No flinch there. Uh, water mess is going to take this one down. It looked, th this was close for a good while. Archie actually had a lead at one point, and it was looking like he was in decent shape. He, he actually had a good showing here against a quality ADV or in water mess. So for those of you unfamiliar with Archie, this guy's actually pretty decent. This really was not the worst display at all from an unknown player. And I think he should feel pretty decent about the way that he played. I think it was totally respectable. But Watermess does get the W here, and he's going to be the defending champ. I did the drawing off screen. Uh, I obviously knew the outcome of this game, unfortunately, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't know how it played out or what mons were used or anything like that. I just knew that Watermess won, but I didn't know anything else about the game. Uh, but the the pull that we got sets us up for a really good match next week. It was Asta Asta Matitos who got pulled. So that's a great match between two quality advancers, Asta Matitos and Watermess. So I think that'll be a great one to watch next week. I hope you guys return to watch some more Fight Night. I know this is a popular series that you guys enjoy. I like doing it. It doesn't take too much time. It's just a win-win. I'll probably keep doing these all the way up to Callus Invitational. But in the meantime, thumbs up if you like the video. Please do consider subscribing if you've not done so already. Helps me a lot, keeps me motivated, makes me want to continue doing all this stuff, putting the time and effort in to do these videos. That's about it. I don't have anything to sell you at the moment. Pokemon Perfect League in full swing. ROAPL in full swing. I got nothing for you to join other than my Discord channel if you're not there already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.